Hello you, welcome to Geekism, and welcome to a very special newsflash kind of video uh, regarding Planet Coaster. It has just been announced, literally 13 minutes ago from me recording this video, uh, that we are getting 3D model import uh, abilities in Planet Coaster. This is pretty huge. They're calling it the Theme Makers Toolkit, and it's basically custom content. It's something that people have been asking for a long time, and really, it's the difference between Planet Coaster doing okay for the next year or so, and then maybe sort of trickling off as other games come out, and being this Trojan, this, this super mega game that goes on for years and years and years, like Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 did. So, uh, we're still very limited in what we know. It's going to be released later this year, uh, but here is some of the main points. So again, they're calling it the Theme Makers Toolkit, and it's a pipeline system for 3D models to be added as scenery items into your parks. It's a free feature that they've been working on for a while, and will truly challenge players who'd love to try their hand at crafting all new items for their parks. So this is going to be for people who have got a, a knowledge of 3D modelling. Now, it doesn't actually say what... Um, what software is going to be used or at least what fa save files are going to be able to be used yet but I imagine uh, you're going to be able to use lots of different things. So this will mean something to people who already do 3D modeling but you can upload your FBX file and its required textures onto a website that they're going to be releasing called the Theme Makers Toolkit uh, and there you'll be able to set in-game values such as the name, the in-game price, the scenery browser category and default colours and then the website will check for errors and stuff before releasing it to the public. So like it says you can set the in-game price, you can set the running cost if there is one, you can set where it goes in the menu or the browser category as they call it, you can set the default colours and um, you can also set the icon that it's going to have in the menu and also the place sound which is quite a neat little feature as well and then once you're happy with it you can upload the model to the steam workshop via the in-game functionality take a screenshot of the model exactly um, like you would do for blueprints and then it becomes available for download from the steam workshop for everyone else to use and it does say here that you are going to need a 3d modeling program installed so this is this is for people who are making 3d models for games already okay so this isn't something that uh, me for instance or probably a lot of other people are going to be able to jump on and make stuff this is for people who know what they're doing with 3d modeling it says you must upload the FBX file and the textures as a PNG uh, and when the feature launches we're expecting to support FBX created in Autodesk Maya but we're looking at other packages like Autodesk 3ds Max and Blender as well. They're going to have more information on the limitations a little bit closer to the launch later this year but a few things they have already pointed out so far is that it won't support particle and special effects options, uh, it's not going to support new lighting creations either but you are going to be able to make animatronics, or at least moving items, which is going to be fantastic. So as long as the .fbx file contains keyframes, it can be animated and therefore triggerable. It's going to be completely free to use. The only other thing that I think is interesting that they've, uh, they've actually added to the FAQ here is, will there be more packs like the Vintage Pack? It says we are currently not. Um, we currently, sorry, have nothing to announce regarding future content packs in Planet Coaster. Please keep your eyes peeled on our forums, social channels, and newsletter for the latest information on the game. But then, on the original post that Bo has put up on the forums, it does say the team have been hard at work as we're getting ready for another Planet Coaster update. But we've got a very special announcement, and then she goes on to talk about the uh, Theme Makers Toolkit. Working on the fact that um, content patches so far have been every three months. I would maybe su suspect something later this month, um, later into October probably, but uh, we really don't know yet anything regarding that. Whether this Theme Makers Toolkit will take over from Content Packs, um, we, again, it's something we don't know. It kind of depends how many members of the community get behind it, but I know this has been a huge feature. My head is already reeling at stuff uh, that I would love to see. Like I say, I physically can't do it. I mean, I might have a play around, see if it's something I'm able to do, but probably not. But if any of you are 3D modelers, get in touch, because I've got a list of stuff that I want this game to have <laughs> that it doesn't currently. Uh, so yeah, I think this is going to be a fantastic, fantastic move for Planet Coaster. It really is. This has got me more psyched than I think any of the uh, the content packs we've had so far. I know there hasn't been that much Planet Coaster content on the channel recently. Uh, that's purely because of work commitments. Uh, that is going to be changing in a couple of weeks. I'm hoping at the start of October... We're going to be able to get back into Pinewood Hills. Uh, so thank you for bearing with me over the uh, the slight de delay of that. Hope you've been enjoying the other stuff anyway as well. And, uh, and yeah, this is huge. The Theme Makers Toolkit. I can't wait to hear more about it. As soon as I do, you will here on Geekism. So make sure if you're new and you want to see all the news from Planet Coaster, all you have to do is click subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.